Now, where is Mirza? Ex Vice Chancellor of University of Education. Dr. Mirza has tremendous contribution in the field of education. She has introduced many educational programs and reformed the structure of existing program. She is the recipient of many awards, such as Ezaz University of the Punjab. Let's begin this session. Over to you, Dr. Mirza. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Madam, your uh, mic is mute now. You can unmute and then you can talk. Yes, yes. Uh, what I'm saying, thank you very much, Dr. Sadia. Uh, for organizing the webinar on an important upcoming issue. Um, I'm trying to enlarge it. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, this is, uh, this issue has been in air for the last six, seven years. Or rather more, I think it started somewhere in 2013 or so. Anyhow, uh, you have asked me to present on licensing and I have added another word to it, that is certification. So it is licensing and certification of teachers in Pakistan. What type of uh, things I would like to discuss in this session? Very basic thing is teaching has been there. I just cut the word set profession. Well, teaching has been there since long, and uh, not since long, but from the day human being was created. So teaching learning process has been from that time onwards. And with the development, then other comparatively formal structures of teaching emerged. So, why are we talking now about licensing? Is it really needed or not? <clears throat> the second thing we will discuss is what the world is doing. Are we new in this field or world is doing something already? If the world is doing something, then what are the requirements for licensing and certification. The next aspect will be what is happening to quality assurance because licensing is a part of quality assurance of teaching. What has been going on in the last few years what is the concept here? Then, while this concept was going on, another very important thing is, has happened. And that is that teacher education, teacher training is going through a change by the people sitting outside teacher, formal teacher education institutions, uh, rather I would say pre-service teacher education institution. So something different has started going on. 
if that has started happening, then I think the teacher education institutions also need to think about what is happening. Uh, Dr. Sadia, I am uh, facing a problem that the slide I see, but I do not see the whole, uh, I mean, I do not see the participants or uh, anything. This is the limitation of uh, the sharing the slides from the uh, guest. Uh, uh, from the, uh, so it's not, general, generally it is not. Generally, both the views are available. So if it is at your end, fine, no problem. <clears throat> we'll do with that. So uh, because without knowing any of the audience, it, it is slightly uh, different to talk. When you see at least one or two, then your way of talking differs. Anyhow, if it is from your side, <clears throat> I can't do anything. The very first thing is, <clears throat> what is a profession? Okay, Sadhya, if, if you move it, then will the audience be visible? Uh, if you run this I don't out. think so. It will remain the same. And I think uh, oh, so, yeah, okay. it's going very okay. well. So you can just keep it continue. Okay, okay. I uh, I can do that. But I think... We can see... We can see... Can see our yes, our and Madam. Simultaneous. And I think the university should look into it for future. Anyhow, let's go as it is going. <clears throat> now... What is a profession? Is teaching a profession? That is next question. And before that we define what is a profession. Profession, you, many of you must have studied the course professional preparation of teachers and you know otherwise as well that profession is a career of individuals who, number one, are accepted by the public as possessing specialized body of knowledge. This is very important. Specialized body of knowledge and skills, and that is how do, do they get it? From education and training at a higher level. If it is not at a higher level, then it is vocational training. So that is the difference between a profession and a vocation. And number two, are prepared to exercise this knowledge and skills in the interest and welfare of others, even at the cost of their own interest. When we look at that, then I think teaching is perhaps at the top. Because we say that teacher is selfless, teacher is perambari, teacher is this and that. And they adhere to high ethical standards. This is profession. Now, you need to evaluate whether your teaching is a profession or not. Now, ensuring quality in profession. What are general? I'm not talking about teaching. I'm talking about profession. How the quality is ensured? Number one, it is accreditation of institutions and training programs. And number two, it is licensing or registration of individuals at entry level to the profession mm -hmm. after completing higher education then license or registration is granted by whom we will come to that later and the third is certification of individuals at higher proficiency level you are permitted to enter you are allowed to practice but still you can progress in that profession and that can also be certified. How is that done? We'll talk next. This is just a 
holistic picture of how quality assurance in a profession is ensured. In this uh, slide, you see that here is input and here process and the third is essentially the product. Now the accreditation of the program takes or encircles all these things. Input, because uh, accreditation bodies can say this should be the qualification and whether the institutions are following it or not. What are the processes starting from curriculum to the end of the educational process? You can read this later on. And then what are the type of graduates as well as when they go to the field? But then another mean of quality assurance is there. You see this certification. It talks about the output, the graduates, and whether they are of quality or not. Because the certification does not go back into how the process is going on or what are the inputs. They talk what the people were doing there and what are they produced. So these are two important things and the way these two are linked. Now, we are talking about licensing, professional licensing. What is it? It is any form of regulations, rules that restrict entry to a profession only to the people who meet the requirements stipulated by a regulatory authority. There must be a regulatory authority. They should outline the requirements against which that graduate is evaluated. Or it is permission by the competent body or authority to certify or to allow a qualified profession to practice or perform a job. Here we are talking about teaching. Or it is also membership of relevant professional body. Since I do not see the audience, I cannot even ask through chat, they can tell me that what are the, what, what do they know, know about? Do you know about any professions which are doing all these things? Do you, if you do not know, I would say, look at law. For a practice, you get education, you apply to the higher education commission, then you apply to the bar council, and then you get permission to practice. After six months, then you are again evaluated. Mm. For medical, you need that. For architectural planning, you need all these three things. So from medical, from law, and from engineer, the strongest is engineering and medical association in our country. They have all these three things. Mm. Why do we need license? With the rule of thumb, number one, regulate professions. Mm. Standardize professional input into the market. Yeah, which means allow only those people who fulfill the conditions and also protect public from income competent or quacks. You know that how many doctors are there who are playing with the lives of people. Mm -hmm. And to stop that, if a person would get education, would get the license, the threat is reduced. I mean, we can at least ensure that person knows the competency level, of course, would remain different. Enhance quality of services because there is a continuous check on that. I will talk about that, how there is a continuous check. 
and it provides feedback to the educational institution for gearing their programs to the required type of output. This is very important. In our country, we, the educational institutions, are, have just shut our ears and eyes to the needs of the profession. If the licensing is there, it will help improve the teaching programs. Establish and get acknowledged as a profession and professional. That is also important. We, after such a long history of teaching, are still in the doldrum whether teaching is a profession or not, because it does not fulfill all the requirements of profession. What licensing brings to the professional? Koyunko Faida hai? Yes. It is a kind of career insurance. It is respect and better social status. And if licensing introduced and certification introduced, then better emoluments and salary can be expected. It also, if it is a profession, then there should be a collegial model, consultative model among the professionals to improve the profession through promoting positive aspect of their experiences. They can share, they can talk, they can promote ethical standards because mm. when there are associations, they have some ethical standards. Our associations are not associations. If there are any, they are trade unions. Disseminate information, contributing to how to do the job in a better way, and then develop methods of solving disputes between consumers and providers. And with the passage of time, with the knowledge more prevalent about everything, you know, how the legal cases are coming up in the subject of education as well. So those can be resolved, those can be talked if we have certain kinds of rules. As I said earlier, there are benefits of licensing to the educational programs or educational institutions. How? This licensing provides opportunities for linkage between the world of work and the institutions. Where is the world of work of teachers? These are the schools, these are the school education departments or education departments, provincial governments, etc. It gives useful feedback on academic programs. And because if your people are not doing well in the field, then you get the feedback. We do get the feedback, but we are not listening yet. Help revise the programs to the needs of the market and society. Because that should not be only listening. That information should be for doing something. Are we doing it? and then building trust between institutions and the stakeholders. If we are doing our job good, then there will be trust that teacher education institutions are producing people who are good for the field of education or schools. Now I just want to uh, familiarize the participants with the concept of uh, licensing and certification. Is it same or different? Uh, according the, to the word practices and Pakistani practices as well, not in education but in other subjects, there is one initial or provisional certificate it can also be called registration. These permit entry or starting practice and 
it is generally granted for a limited or specified period and then second stage is licensing this is kind of permanent although there is nothing permanent because it can be withdrawn as well permanent or legal permission to practice and in our case to teach then the third concept is graded certification uh in the world and in pakistan in some uh professions there are graded certificates for professional practices uh the best example is engineering because in law we don't have that but in engineering there is first professional examination in uh, pakistan there is second professional third professional certificate and in teaching not in pakistan but in other countries there are certificates like accomplished teacher or higher level teacher or with different names so uh, this red is example from other countries whereas in black from engineering i have given the example from pakistan what is in the profession now well, who is uh, the authority to do that licensing and registration because that is jhagda that is a controversy in pakistan that is misunderstanding in pakistan license or entry is generally permitted by government boards in some countries now government boards are parts of educational boards or educational departments um advanced professional certificate is sponsored by professional bodies councils and associations as i gave example of that um first professional second professional third professional in engineering that is granted by engineering council similarly in education i will show how other countries are doing it in pakistan all types of professional licensing and subsequent certification of professionals other than teaching is under the professional bodies or councils see i mean there can be different ways so here uh, engineering council pmdec uh architectural because at the moment i think we have seven councils which are have been established by uh national acts and there are five or six councils established by hc the status of hc councils is not the same as those established through acts of the parliament so uh engineer pack is engineering council pmdc bar council i have given the examples <coughs> what are they because this is the question before us and we want to know what the word is doing requirements for licensing now we are coming to teachers requirements for licensing of teachers it needs these five things or maybe one can be eliminated at that rather nothing can be eliminated and the one that is i mean per, per personal characteristics maybe number 4 um uh, it can be national or something but i think uh very first thing is specified formal schooling in the subject i have just had to teach because this is in every field engineering 
you should have 12 years of schooling and five years of engineering education. Um, in medical, the same. In law, now the same, 12 plus five. So, um, in, uh, well, that is not recognized as uh, allied, allied health disciplines and then, uh, the medical council doesn't um, uh, issue license to them. So the very first thing is formal schooling in the subject. And here I have put teach, to teach specified formal schooling in the pedagogical content. Now, by pedagogical content, what your core subjects are generally methods of teaching, child psychology, assessment, etc., etc. And then there should be some experience, internship, not house job, you can call it practicum. So that is third condition which should be fulfilled. Not only knowledge, uh, pedagogical, theoretical, but you should have experience of doing that. Then personal characteristics, you can limit it to citizenship, residence, and suitability of character, which we say commitment, etc., etc. And very important com uh, component is successful complete completion, rather passing a licensing examination. If the license to be issued, there should be examination. <clears throat> now, what are the world practices in licensing or certification of teacher? Uh, Sadia, I have consumed 30 minutes. Okay, I think we'll complete before that. World practices in licensing or certification of teachers. Different practices are adopted. State issues certificate to enter the job on the basis of degrees granted by the accredited institutions. See, if the institution is accredited, as we are now doing in Pakistan, Accreditation Council is accrediting the, now I should not say uh, essentially institution, here it should be basically programs. If the program is accredited and a person graduates from there, gets a degree, then initial certificate can be granted. In England, it is done after getting from out from the, in Philippine, it is a temporary uh, or provisional uh, license, but they do issue uh, instead of asking people to do that. In law, for example, if you see, they have to pass the examination as well as bef before taking the, because it is a kind of provisional to go to, to that. And after that permission, when you register with the uh, HEC and the Bar Council, then you sit in the coming examination, which is conducted twice a year. You take that examination and after that, you are allowed to practice. Similarly, it is done in case of teachers in many countries. Then, after that, not after that, this is either or or as well. State issues license after passing an examination in addition to the degree, such as in USA, most of the states, because uh, a few years back, uh, license was issued on the basis of uh, just a degree, but now you have to pass the examination as well as in Canada and in Philippines, as I said, that the initial or provisional is issued, but then you have to sit in the examination. Professional councils have or issue advanced level certificates, not the basic. On the basis of degree, but most important in that is added experience. And in certain countries, professional councils and state boards work together for licensing. 
how do they work together i think these are all the details for example in usa the councils come to the institutions during the preparation time mm. and they evaluate the students not the graduates because at that time they are prospective teachers and they evaluate whether the processes and the candidates are doing and they take uh, kind of examinations of the students as well so there they work together and in uh, usa the practices can be different from one state to the other now they are coming more towards centralized approach but uh, in uh, canada or in uh, usa the in canada you have uh, provinces not states in usa you have states in canada provinces used to be very independent in all these activities but realizing that people have to go from one place to the other they are moving toward central and not only moving because the international world the confidence is enhanced when you have central criteria and central processes okay professional or accomplished certified teachers as i said that some countries have that we take the example of usa for advancement in the professions and better recognition graded certificates are issued by professional councils or boards such as there is a national board of professional teaching standards and bpts and it takes examination for certified or accomplished teacher which is a symbol of teaching excellence and it is not issued by state it is a national level body and then these teachers when they go from one state to the other they don't have to take again the certification of teachers from the state the requirements as i talked earlier may include successful teaching experience enhancement of academic or professional qualification and qualifying the subsequent prescribed level exam wo muft mein nahi milta hai aap uske liye mehnat karte hain jaise aap dekhe in the university from assistant professor to associate professor you don't take exam but you have to fulfill some of the conditions but there you have to take examination for every subsequent certificate level now should we come to pakistan quality assurance of teachers in pakistan the first comprehensive statement about all the every policy talks about teacher is linchpin teacher is this and that and quality and what not but the procedures or the methodologies required were mentioned in the policy of 2009 for the first time which states teacher training arrangements accreditation and certification procedures will be standardized and institutionalized now each and every word has a meaning it is a very meaningful and powerful statement although accreditation had been introduced before the national education policy it was established in 2006 and for the first time i wrote to the minister education zubair dajlal in 2004 that there should be an accreditation council anyhow 
then you also need to know about i mean why i am talking these things you people need to know because you will go in the field you will talk how it should be done and why it should be done what is are the grounds available for that i will not be going to many of the places following moved from the concurrent list to the federal legislative list i know most of the part participants in this uh, webinar do not know what is concurrent list concurrent list of the constitution is that these are the things where provinces and federal government can take the initiative and whosoever takes the initiative initiative first is okay i mean those things fall under the purview of both the federal and provincial education used to be that but with 18th amendment some aspects most of the aspects of education were clarified some were placed clearly in the provincial uh, sphere and some were with the national or federal government and in that standards in institutions for higher education and research scientific and technical institutions is now with the federal legislation provinces cannot do that standards in institutions for higher education provinces cannot do it legal medical and other professions well we the teachers are uh, still profession or not but claiming that we are profession so teacher you be these both higher education and particularly of profession are the federal prerogative they can make legislation on that so teacher is a product of higher education and teaching is a profession with a smile anyhow so who should be doing that decide on that what progress has been made on quality assurance of teachers in pakistan national accreditation council was established in 2006 and i know what problems we had to face i do not remember the number of seminars the number of consultations done with the provincial bodies for the need importance of national accreditation council and for its acceptance i think i spent half of my life uh, well not really that for convincing for advocacy that this is national accreditation council and then we started accrediting by the time i think i left we had accredited 200 uh, teacher education programs in the country national professional standards for teachers have been made by ministry of education and if you have not read read that document it is a good document at least to begin with these are general standards not for subject teachers these are not for secondary school teachers but these are general and for the work is to be done should be done licensing mechanism and talk has started in pakistan i think it started in 2013 or so um these are national professional standards i don't go over that these are 10 standards starting from knowledge to ethics and all that environment and now progress on teacher licensing instead of a national or proven uh, of a national authority provinces have established authorities and bodies for example Punjab Education Development Authority was established on June 13, 2017. It has many functions. I have just copied 
the functions which relate to licensing. It says, draw development of professional standards for the staff. See, I mean, instead of national, we are coming to provinces. Award of license, professional status, and accreditation. We don't know anything about it, or not. We are writing accreditation later. Who has to do it? But this is what is written there. Prepare roles of licensed teachers, teacher trainers, and education administrators and other staff. They have to make a list. Prescribed mechanism for the award and renewal of a license. Here you can see. License, certificate, or professional status recognition, which should be similar to what I have said, accomplished teacher or high level certification or like that. And prescribe conditions and procedures for the withdrawal of a license certificate. So these are the functions of that authority which was established on 2017. How much have they go gone far? I mean, some work has been done. I don't have time to talk on that. <clears throat> now, progress on teacher licensing in other provinces. Authority established currently since teacher education development stada. Licensing is one of its functions. Why should KPK remain behind? They have stated it is a teacher education strategy 2013 to 2018. Prepare under the USAID project, and it says that it will establish provincial institution for implementing a teacher licensing and certification system by the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. DE and SP is Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. But I think they have not yet developed. AJK policy I read in 2013, it was also prepared under USAID, but implementation nowhere has been done, standards not prepared. But my concern by showing this is that we are talking about provinces, Arabic, Kabito, Pakistan, West Pakistan, West Pakistan. Why don't we take it, this standards business at national level? Anyhow, if we want to do licensing, I would again refer to this specified formal schooling in the subject to teach. Very important component because teacher is two things basic. Number one is content to be taught. Number two, how to teach that. So number two is specified formal schooling in the pedagogical content. Then experience and professional characteristics and successful completion, com completion of a licensing examination. So these, I am repeating it, these are the conditions which we must meet. For the initial training, I just want to sensitize you what is meant by this initial training in other countries. OECD, I reviewed each and every country in Malaysia. That is not OECD. Indonesia, Philippines, USA, Vera. Initial teacher training, it aims at content plus pedagogical knowledge, uh, 
ये वो मॉडल है विच इज कॉल्ड कंकरेंट मॉडल कॉन्टेंट पेडोगोजिकल नॉलेज टीचिंग प्रैक्टिस एंड एथिक्स दिस इज द होल टू प्रिपेयर अ टीचर एंड इन दो कंट्रीज द ड्यूरेशन आफ्टर हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल ट्वेल्व ईयर्स इन सम कंट्रीज देर इज इलेवन ईयर्स स्कूलिंग एज वेल the duration of these programs for certain level of teaching is as i talk for pre primary teachers 3 to 5 years after 12 years of schooling for primary and lower secondary it is 3 to 6.5 years and for secondary and upper secondary it is 4 to 7 years of teacher education program in the con- current model but in the consecutive model it is less varying from 1 to 2 years while the world is doing that what tamasha are we doing number 1 we have taken things to the provinces and this is the second crime which we are doing <laughs> abolishing education degree एज ए मैंडेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट इन पाकिस्तान आप लोगों को पता होना चाहिए ऐसे ही आप पढ़ा रहे हैं द रिक्रूटमेंट पॉलिसी फॉर एजुकेटर्स एंड असिस्टेंट एजुकेशन ऑफिसर्स ए टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट पंजाब इज दिस इट एबॉलिश द मैंडेटरी कंडीशन ऑफ प्रोफेशनल ट्रेनिंग for appointment of teachers in the public sector schools by allocating only 3 out of 100 marks to any of the teacher education degree be it amat ted ved whatever and it prescribed master or bs four year bs degree in the content as a mandatory requirement for all कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बेस्ड टीचिंग क्योंकि इन्होंने की ही सारी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बेस्ड टीचिंग थी उनका नाम जब एजुकेटर रख दिया जाता है तो इट मीन इट इज ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बेस्ड एलिमेंट्री स्कूल एजुकेटर सेकेंडरी स्कूल एजुकेटर यू कैन रीड इट और आपको वैसे भी पता होना चाहिए ये क्या है अगर तो मुझे पता है कि बहुत से लोगों को इसका नहीं पता होता दूसरे सूबे जैसे मैंने कहा क्यों पीछे रहे केपीके ने आल्सो रिक्वायर्ड मास्टर बैचलर इन कंटेंट बाय ओनली फाइव मार्क्स फॉर प्रोफेशनल ट्रेनिंग एंड देन सेड दैट अन ट्रेन टीचर्स हैव टू गो अंडर आफ्टर इंडक्शन नाइन मंथ्स ट्रेनिंग एट राइट पाइट एटसेट्रा ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ थ्री इयर्स since school education departments for junior elementary school teachers and primary school teachers requires only graduation no training balochistan is an exception till now i haven't seen any advertisement requ- uh, requiring or abolishing the mandatory requirement so this is where we stand as a teaching profession and institution when in 2017 punjab government adopted this policy we raised a hue and cry we the well i was not in chairperson of nacti but still with some links we created some hue and cry and the chairman of higher education commission banori saab he called the meeting i was part of that meeting as well there the minutes are available it was recommended it was only a recommendation a pre service teacher education degree must remain a mandatory requirement for induction of school teachers at all levels mera khayal hai jo ab log hain at different हेल्म ऑफ अफेयर्स उन्हें इन बातों को लेके चलना चाहिए लेकिन वो कुछ थोड़े थोड़े चुप चुप बैठे रहते हैं 
और फिर ये भी कहा उसमें कि रजिस्ट्रेशन सर्टिफिकेशन एंड लाइसेंसिंग मस्ट बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एट द नेशनल लेवल क्लोज लाइजॉन शुड बी डिवेलप्ड एंड स्ट्रेंथन बिटवीन द नेशनल पॉलिसी मेकर्स एंड द यूनिवर्सिटी अथॉरिटीज फॉर एग्रीड अपॉन डिसीजन मेकिंग contrary to that what teacher training model have the provinces come up abhi maine aapko bataya it is after induction training model what is it in other countries so some somewhere in the world aisa karte hain maslan ek georgia uh induction training model we have recently banaya unhone लेकिन इट इज अडॉप्टेड टू मीट द शॉर्टेज ऑफ टीचर्स इन स्पेसिफिक एरिया जैसे हमारे मुल्क में साइंस और मैथ में प्रॉब्लम है इट इज डिजाइन वेरी केयरफुली टू इंक्लूड ऑल द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द रेलिवेंट डिग्री इन एजुकेशन हम कह रहे हैं वो मैंडेटरी नहीं है वो चाहिए ही नहीं इज ऑफर्ड इन कोलेबोरेशन और ज्वाइंटली अगर ऐसा वो करते हैं तो हाउ इज इट डन अब टीचर एजुकेशन पर मेरे सामने तो टीचर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन तो बैठा हुआ कौन है मैं तकलीर बिला वजह कर रही हूँ एक एक इंस्टीट्यूशन के मॉडरेट लेवल के वो हैं लोग इट इज डिजाइन वेरी केयरफुली कोलेबोरेशन विद यूनिवर्सिटी फैकल्टीज यानी ऐसा नहीं है कि वो खुद बैठ कर तीन महीने की ट्रेनिंग जो है वो कराने बैठ जाते हैं वो यूनिवर्सिटी फैकल्टीज ऑफ एजुकेशन जो है उनके साथ मिलकर उस ट्रेनिंग को करते हैं और वहां के लोग आकर उसको ट्रेनिंग करवाते हैं हैव टू मीट ऑल द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ स्पेसिफाइड डिग्री उन प्रोग्रामों को खोलकर तो देखें ना पाकिस्तान के लोग ओनली दो क्वालिफाई गो फॉर स्टेट सर्टिफिकेशन और लाइसेंसिंग पाकिस्तान तो दाल दलिया पकाने के चक्करों में पड़ा रहता है वट इज पाकिस्तानी ब्रांड आफ्टर इंडक्शन टीचर ट्रेनिंग मॉडल ये है उसकी शक्ल टू बी डिलीवर्ड बाय द नॉन यूनिवर्सिटी बॉडीज सच एस डीएसडी जिसको आप कायद कहते हैं बिगड़ा हुआ कायद राइट्स एंड पाइट्स विल हैव एंड इट विल हैव नो एकेडमिक वर्थ क्योंकि ये डिग्री तो है नहीं विल विल पुट एट स्टेक द फ्यूचर ऑफ टीचर्स नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग upgradation path of their professional qualification wo uske baad amphil tamphil mein dakhla nahi le sakte hain is too compressed and segmented in three small units spread over three summers not allowing assimilation and understanding lacks in content knowledge of the discipline of education kabhi unse baat to karke dekh आप समझते हैं कि आप एक्सपर्ट है तो आपको तो कोई नहीं पूछता सो वट शुड बी डन हम तो बातें कर सकते हैं एडॉप्ट द इंटरनेशनल पैरामीटर्स फॉर लाइसेंसिंग ऑफ टीचर्स इसके अलावा कोई हल नहीं है अगर आप दुनिया में रहना है With the teacher education degree as one of the mandatory requirement, and I have repeated all five elements. Or क्या करना चाहिए? What else? Adopt after मैं ये नहीं कहती कि after induction model बिल्कुल नहीं होना चाहिए. After induction model may be adopted. wherever there is shortage but for quality and safeguarding the future of individual teachers the after induction training model must be equivalent to the pre service consecutive model be offered by or with the cooperation of faculties of universities or the affiliated institutions in collaboration with the provincial school education departments kyunki ab sab ne apna naam school education rakh liya hua hai 
अगला सवाल पैदा होता है हु शुड बी दी अथॉरिटी फॉर लाइसेंस मैं हमेशा से इस हक में हूं कि इट शुड बी ए सेंट्रल और नेशनल बॉडी एज पर एटीन अमेंडमेंट अभी आपको मैंने उसके सारे वो बताए प्रैक्टिस ऑफ ऑल अदर प्रोफेशनल बॉडीज एंड काउंसिल इन पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तान में भी सारी जो है वो नेशनल है कोई भी प्रोविंशियल नहीं है अलाउ एटलीस्ट इट विल अलाउ एटलीस्ट इंटर प्रोविंस मोबिलिटी ऑफ टीचर्स एंड International, we should know that international trend is moving from states or provinces to national. तो हम क्यों वही चरखा वहां से चलाना चाह रहे हैं जिसको व्हील जो के नया बनाना पड़े Many developing countries already have national system, such as Philippines, very strong. Philippines, Thailand के This national body may have participant. मेंबर्स फ्रॉम द प्रोविंस अगर ऐसा नहीं करना तो फिर ऐसे कर लें दूसरा मॉडल भी हम दे देते हैं वो ये है कि देर शुड बी अंट्रल और नेशनल बॉडी टू फ्रेम दाइसेंसिंग एंड सर्टिफिकेशन स्टैंडर्ड एज पर इंटरनेशनल प्रैक्टिस लेकिन सिंस द एम्प्लॉयर इज प्रोविंस so provincial school education department therefore provincial education departments may undertake the whole process of licensing or nacti being a council should be authorized to develop standards and mechanism for certification of accomplished teacher high level teacher इन्होंने कहा ट्रेनर्स मास्टर ट्रेनर्स जो भी उनके नाम आप करना चाहते हैं डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ पर्सन उसके लिए स्टैंडर्ड्स का काम इनको दे दें उसकी इंप्लीमेंटेशन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन भले ही सूबे करते रहे तो दूसरा सवाल ये है ये मैं अदारों से कहती हूं कि तुम भी अपनी आंखें खोलो just think about why the provinces have done away with the mandatory degree there is our fault we have not updated our curricula we have not updated our training programs to hame and we are doing things in isolation हम तो नेक्टी के बाद भी नहीं सुनते और नेक्टी अभी उतना काम भी नहीं कर रहे हम नेक्टी के बाद नहीं सुनते क्या मिन्नतें करते फिरते हैं वो कह रही है करा लो एक्रेडिटेशन वो कहते हैं नहीं जी पांडे ऐसी नहीं कली कराने हाले तो वो ये है कि और कसूर ये है टीचर ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन का कि वो आइसोलेशन में काम कर रहे हैं उन्हें नहीं पता वट इज हैपनिंग इन द वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड का मतलब है किस किस्म का टीचर चाहिए हमारा टीचर कर रहा है वो क्या नहीं कर रहा है तो पहली बात ये करो कि डिवेलप ए लाइजोन विद ऑल द स्टेक होल्डर्स और वो कौन है प्रोविंशियल डिपार्टमेंट्स ऑफ एजुकेशन प्राइवेट स्कूल आपका स्टूडेंट नहीं जाता है ग्रेजुएट प्राइवेट स्कूलों में आप उनके साथ और एसोसिएशन के साथ रहा करें एंड विद एक्रेडिटेशन एंड लाइसेंसिंग बॉडीज जो भी अभी फिलहाल बनी है और उसकी रोशनी में एनालाइज द प्रोग्राम्स कंपेयरिंग टू द नीड्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉयर्स एंड द नीड्स ऑफ ए ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी टीचर भरा पड़ा है मटीरियल आजकल तो आपके मुठी में है सारा कुछ क्यों नहीं है हमें पता चल रहा लेकिन अभी तक आई नो द टीचर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट कहा मतलब वो कर रहे हैं एंड रिस्ट्रक्चर द टीचर एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम एंड दर्सेज अकॉर्डिंगली और दूसरा ये है कि विद कोऑर्डिनेशन इन कोऑर्डिनेशन विद स्कूल एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट ब्यूरोज ऑफ करिकुलम डी एस टी लिंक फ्री सर्विस टीचर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स विद इन सर्विस टीचर एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम्स 
और प्रोफेशनल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम वो उनको कहते हैं उसके साथ ही उसको लिंक करें तब जाकर आप लोगों की भी इस प्रोफेशन को स्ट्रेंथन करने में आपकी कंट्रीब्यूशन होगी वरना यू विल बी लेफ्ट आउट क्योंकि अपना स्टेटस करने के लिए जब तक रात दिन मरते नहीं मेहनत नहीं करते मुशक्कत नहीं करते किसी आइडियल को अटेन करने की वी डोंट मेक एन एफर्ट टू अचीव द बेस्ट देन इन दिस कंपेटिटिव वर्ल्ड एग्जिस्टेंस इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो विद दीज वर्ड्स आई होप के दिस टॉक ऑफ टूडे वट एवर द नंबर ऑफ पार्टिसिपेंट्स मे रीच टू सम अदर as well thank you sadia very much and thank you the participants thank you so much madam i like your concluding remarks and that has uh, the crux of your whole presentation that's really wonderful uh well uh, we have uh, some faculty members from other universities as well uh, dr shaista khalid from sargoda university she is working as assistant professor in education shaista um, um i want to give you opportunity for Do you have any question from uh, Professor Mesa? Dr. Shai Stagi there. Okay, she might be away. Okay, dear participants, it's the time for the question answer session. If you have your question. you can ask your question directly from the speaker or you can write your question in the chat box dr khalid do you do you have any question okay so it's just a compliment from uh, yeah yeah that's uh, it is a very wonderful presentation yes, and professor dr madam manohar mirza has rightly pointed out that uh, uh, there should be a different forum for this presentation yes uh, bahut hi thought provoking aur bahut hi zabardast ye ek presentation thi but uh, anyhow uh, whoever is there it is good and uh, especially uh, i have learned a lot from this presentation yes, yes me too <laughs> yes that's a wonderful thank you dr saab because you are in this uh, uh, field now accreditation so yeah. you understand uh, yesterday i talked to dr sadia on the subject that who will be the participants lekin uh, then i thought okay whosoever it is maybe the younger few people take the ideas but i think such talk uh should reach out to other yeah. people as well that was my concern yesterday yeah uh, talking to dr sadia anyhow uh, since she asked me and i when i once accepted then it is my commitment so which i never uh, abandon i'm really so i did that so thank you uh, dr sadia whatever who's ever was there I have uh, I have uh, one or two question madam um if we really we we, we are really interesting uh, to launch the teacher licensing movement in the context of Pakistan so what we have to do and what what sort of challenges we can face well i don't think i have anything new to say if you go through my presentation and my talk earlier uh it is not a question of if or not the question is there the movement is there although it is it has been slowed down for various reasons i need not go into that uh but once the movement is there it will continue at different pace during different periods so i think the teacher education institutions should take this opportunity of this uh, slow process and they should come up with ideas and also the national it is for the national accreditation council and the higher education commission to take up these uh, okay. issues and to form different bodies um, 
who wants to do that i i do not know and as i said the teacher education institutions if they want to see the worth of their degrees they should work on their programs uh they should compare their programs to what the other countries the world is doing there is so much available uh, that we can learn we can modify uh the biggest difference in our product and the product of other countries is that we impart theoretical knowledge and practical knowledge supervised uh, practices are very few in our teacher education program and yeah, i mean this is such a complex thing that everyone should and can take uh, initiative i don't know who will be willing to if i was at some place <laughs> i would have done to ke mai to kabhi ye nahi socha karti ki mai ja ke ye baat for example jab ye abhi aapko maine bataya hai jab uh, 2017 ki policy aayi to bhai mujhe kya pada tha but i did talk to the uh, uh nasty i did talk to the higher education commission and then we had meeting under the chairmanship of uh, uh chair chairman of uh, higher education commission that should be continued i mean uh, yes yeah. and that should uh, tell us what i mean we we recommended that it should be national body we should try to come up with the idea we should get develop at least i mean if we want to do something all right start us developing standards take it somewhere these are the standards we have developed look at this and this is the way coming mean, if we present something then maybe we can make the difference and how sadia this is a very complex situation it needs initiative it needs commitment yes. it needs hard work yes all that and then perhaps something can be done ठीक <laughs> 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 teacher education by awarding 3 marks for professional degree wo to hai main keh rahi hu ke punjab government ne bhi 3 number rakhe hain aur sindh government ne 5 number rakhe hain out of as a matter of fact 200 kyunki unke hain 100 number hain uske jo jo entry jo unhone examination rakha hai और सौ नंबर हैं बाकी क्वालिफिकेशन के जिसमें बीस एक चीज के हैं कॉन्टेंट के हैं बीस इसके हैं पता नहीं किसके हैं आपके के हैं और ये वो तो वही बात हुई ना कि थ्री परसेंट के करीब नंबर दे दिए हैं तो थ्री परसेंट नंबर देना तो मैं थ्री परसेंट तो ले देता हूँ अगर किसी और चीज में तो आप क्या कर लेंगे इन तीन नंबरों से क्या क्या हासिल क्या होगा मतलब टू बी ए मैंडेटरी एंड थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल for 3% i will not go for training in any case i will improve my academic qualification my first class scholarship like mai to chali jaunga mujhe kya zarurat hai 2 saal aur karne ki to baat ye hai ki these 3 marks is nothing nothing to mai to isko aap aapke khayal mein aapke idaron mein log is 3% number lene ke liye aayenge मैंने आपको क्या कहा की अगर ये प्रैक्टिस रहेगी तो मैं अपने फोर ईयर प्रोग्राम में एफर्ट पूरी कर लूंगी और मैं फर्स्ट डिवीजन ले लूंगी और उसके बाद मुझे इन तीन नंबरों की जरूरत है ही नहीं तीन नंबरों के लिए कोई दो साल अपनी जिंदगी के डेढ़ साल बर्बाद करना नहीं आएगा सही बात तो बात यह है कि अगर आप अच्छे प्रोग्राम करें आपके 
कोई कंडीशन हो तो लोग आएंगे ना ऐसे तो नहीं आएंगे ना और मुझे लोगों के आने से अदारे भरने से कतन गलत नहीं है माई फिलोसफी इज डिफरेंट माई फिलोसफी इज कम्पैशनेटली टू प्रिपेयर गुड टीचर्स जो मैं ये कह रही हूं कि आफ्टर इंडक्शन मॉडल नहीं कर सकता अगर टीचर ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन ईमानदारी से टीचर तैयार करें तो ये आफ्टर इंडक्शन ट्रेनिंग मॉडल उसका मुकाबला नहीं कर सकता लेकिन झांके ना हम अपने अंदर भी बात यह है कि जब तक हम रिफ्लेक्शन इंटरनल इनवर्ड रिफ्लेक्शन नहीं होता नथिंग कैन बी डन लेकिन मैडम क्या कह रहे हैं वाले एफएससी वाले बच्चे हमारे पास हैं बीएस में हमारे पास तो सेकंड डिवीजन वाले आते हैं जिनका कोई किसी तरफ जिनको दाखला नहीं मिलता अच्छा नंबर वाले वहां भी वहां भी नहीं जाते वहां वो ठहरेंगे नहीं ये उनको पता होना चाहिए कि आफ्टर इंडक्शन मॉडल आपको रिटेन करने में कितने प्रॉब्लम्स करेगा ठीक है टीचर्स को रिटेन करना मतलब वो कंपेयर करें रिटेंशन रेट फिर उसके बाद में लेकिन हमने तो ऐसा कुछ करके बताना नहीं ना आप लोग करें टीचर एजुकेशन लेकिन सबसे पहले ठीक है आप उसको कंपेयर करें उसको करें वो बाद में करें पहले अपने आप को तो ठीक करें पहले अपने आप को उस चीज से तो निकालें जो लोग कहते हैं और कह रहे हैं के ट्रेनिंग से कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता आप वो फर्क पढ़ने का एविडेंस तो क्रिएट कर रहे हैं ना आप कहें कि ये दो लोग हैं विद इक्वल लेवल ऑफ एकेडमिक जो जो है कंटेंट इसके एफएससी में या फोर ईयर प्रोग्राम जो है बीएस उसमें इसके जीपीए थ्री पॉइंट फोर है और ये एक स्टूडेंट है जिसकी बीएस में जीपीए 3.4 है अब इस 3.4 वाले को जब तक आप नहीं कंपेयर करेंगे तब तक आप बता लें लेकिन अभी तक हम ऐसी स्टडीज करने की तरफ भी नहीं आ रहे हम ये कहते हैं ये ट्रेंड है ये अनट्रेंड है अरे भाई ऐसे नहीं है ये पहले उनकी बाकी जो क्वालिफिकेशन हैं वो बराबर होने और नहीं तो कम से कम को वेरियंस के एनालिसिस ही कर लें उन पैरामीटर्स पर लेकिन बात यह कि मैं क्यों करूं तनख्वाह मुझे मिल रही है बस और ये तनख्वाह देखो कब तक मिल रही है मुझे बहुत स्ट्रांग बातें नहीं करनी चाहिए क्योंकि <laughs> <laughs> क्योंकि मैं स्ट्रॉन्ग बातें जरूर करूं अगर मेरे सामने फैकल्टी बैठी हुई हो ये तो ये तो है इनको क्या करना है हाँ ये तो स्टूडेंट्स हैं इनको अभी इनको तो अभी इन सारी चीजों की जो एब्रीविएशन है उसमें उनके पूरे नाम ही नहीं पता है तो क्या करें मैडम मेरा क्वेश्चन आपसे ये है कि हम लाइसेंसिंग एग्जामिनेशन की तरफ हम लाइसेंसिंग टेस्टिंग की तरफ अगर आए हमें क्या ऐसे कंपोनेंट्स हैं जिसके ऊपर बेस करता हुआ स्टूडेंट्स के लिए प्री सर्विस टीचर्स के लिए कोई टेस्ट बनाने की जरूरत है लो कमाल हो गई यानी दिस ये इस पे अभी तो इसी टॉक पे हमें डेढ़ घंटा पौना सवा घंटा लग गया अगर मैं ये कहूँ वट शुड बी डन फॉर लाइसेंसिंग तो हमें बहुत काम करने की जरूरत है एंड हु शुड आई टॉक टू विल टॉक लेटर ठीक है जाहिर है इसके लिए आपको देखना है कि आपको टीचर्स के
मतलब बात है जो कि लोग इनिशिएट करते हैं लेकिन फिर जब उसके पास उनको उसके आगे जाने के रास्ते नहीं आते और फिर वो मोमेंट खत्म हो जाती है तो आपकी बात बिल्कुल ठीक है कि हमें इस uh dr bjor i think concern is related to the teachers in higher education because you said that uh, teachers come with content preparation and they go directly to the teaching they are uh, taught and they are certainly as experts of uh, uh, their content and we assume that they can teach perhaps that is your concern is am i right in understanding you because we when i was talking my presentation was mostly focused on now uh,
implement this concept in the context of Pakistan. Thank you for sharing your valuable ways and thinking about the launching of teacher licensing movement. And thank you once again. I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting you on another forum and on the same day. Okay. Thank, okay. You. thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sadia. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Wish you best, all of you. Wish you the best. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Allah Fez. Allah Fez. Love this. Dear participants, please stay connected. We have uh, another session, uh, the next session by Dr. Khalid Mahmoud. And we have a separate link for the next meeting. So I request you to please join that particular link that addressing the role of NECTI for teacher education accreditation. And I see you there. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh,